don't like spelling. I'm scared to spell. You know, I had to play hangman a lot as a kid, and that'll do that to you. That'll scar you. They still play hangman in schools? You ever think about what a violent way to learn how to spell that is? You're putting a lot on kids, right? These kids don't know who this dude is on the chalkboard. They don't know what he's been accused of, you know? They just know he's gonna die limb by limb unless they can spell tuberculosis correctly, okay? That's not a fun game. It's not fair to kids. It messed me up, rattled me. I'm 28 now. I could never spell restaurant. I have no idea. Is there a U in there? Maybe. <laughs> I think there's two. <laughs> there is a U. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I want you to know that I, I don't know where it is, but there is a U in there. <laughs> I hate spelling. I'm not dumb. Okay, I feel like we were really rocking and rolling, and then the show changed during that bit, and I feel like I need to back up a little bit. I'm not dumb. <laughs> I miss some stuff, I know that much. We all miss stuff, you know? You're not taught everything as a kid. You pick up stuff as you go along. You slip through the cracks a little bit, you know? My favorite example of that, I was at a bar in college, first time ever drinking. I had never been around alcohol, I had never been in a bar. I got a fake ID, I snuck in, I walked right up to the bar, I looked at the board, I picked something that sounded good, and I ordered a club soda because I didn't know that club soda is just water. I thought they were talking about like a, like a club soda, you know what I mean? Like an adult Sprite. I was trying to get buck wild out here on some of this club soda. I'm in the club, let's get their signature cocktail while I'm here, let's get wild, dude. College, you know? So she gives me the drink and then I got nervous because I had never drank alcohol before and I didn't realize that I wasn't about to. So uh, I pointed at it and I go, hey, between us, is this, uh, is this pretty strong? And she goes, your club soda? I was like, yeah. She goes, yeah, buddy, it's the strongest drink on our menu. I was like, well, make it a double, sweetheart. Here we go, let's get crazy. I learned a lot that night, y'all. I learned about placebos. Y'all know what those are? <laughs> they can work. I had 11 club sodas that night. I thought I was hammered. Turns out I was just hydrated for the first time in years and my body didn't know what was going on. It was like, this feels amazing, dude. Is this being drunk? Let's stay drunk for a while. I should have known I wasn't drinking alcohol because I drank all night and then I got my tab, $3. And that's a good sign that you haven't been drinking, you know? I like being in Nashville. Nashville is Music City. That's what they call it. I'm pretty sick of it. Not the city, the music. It's uh, gross. People don't talk about that. It is a gross life, you know? And it's a dirty, dirty world, music. And I know all about it, because I was in a band here in Nashville for like four years, and it sucked the soul out of me. And it was my, it was my high school marching band, but I know all about that life. Dirty, dirty world, I'm telling you. I played the xylophone. The xylophone is not a cool instrument. I was always jealous of dudes that could play guitar because you can take a guitar to a party and serenade women, right? I think. It's a little bit harder to do any of that when instead of a guitar, I gotta physically wheel a xylophone into the party, you know? Doesn't even fit through the door. You gotta park it outside. Hey, what's up, ladies? Uh, y'all mind coming out here to the porch real quick? I got a little something for y'all. Uh, any of you gals like under the sea? Yeah, they don't. That's what I figured out. Not big fans. <laughs> I never got good at the xylophone because it's hard to care enough to get good. Who inspires you as a xylophonist? You know, who are the greats? Who are the legends of the xylophone? There's only one dude in the whole world anybody knows. It's this guy. <laughs> That's our Jimi Hendrix right there, y'all. That's as good as it gets. And y'all are going to think about me every time you hear that ringtone from now on, I'm telling you. 